Okay, welcome to another shop talk. Uh, loads of bits going on today. Thought I'd talk about the spindle molder because uh, people have been asking about the cutter. This is something that's coming up soon. A client brought this sort of big cookie in, in two halves. So there will be a video on prepping it. Pretty interesting mold making. Video coming on that soon. So tape molds, quite a difficult mold, but um, looks all right at the moment. It's holding up the old the uh, wall cool tables on and the uh, air conditioning because it's a 70 mil pool. Uh, Will's doing another set of the cross legs. It's for another chestnut table. This one's back from, this is killer. There'll be a video coming on this soon. Um, so this is the first metal base um, you've seen me talk about, which is the diagonal leg design that I've done. Now we've had that powder coated. So that looks really cool. Um, this table is absolutely wonderful. So there you get an idea of that. I don't want to give too much away in case the client's not even received it yet, but they've been to see it and they love it. So that's cool. That's all done. Um, this is another chestnut table underway. It's just been flattened. Will's doing the legs. They are a pain in the ass to do, but they look amazing. Everyone loves them. So let's have a look at this spindle molder. Now I'm not going to do an in-depth on the molder itself, but what I'm going to do is take you through uh, the cutter block over there. I've done some videos before on a cutter block, so I'm going to show you that um, and explain it and put a link in the description. So I'm not affiliated with Whitehill um, at all. If you do go to them because of uh, me, just mention me. Maybe they'll give me a discount or something in the future, something to help me out. But um, they're a brilliant company, uh, English company. So uh, just say you see it on my YouTube channel, that would really help. But I'm not affiliated. I don't get any discounts or nothing like that. And I haven't got any discount codes for you guys. Anyway, let's jump in and have a quick look at this uh, cutter block. I showed it before. This is the White Hill. Um, it's a 30 mil kind of multifunction block for my spindle molder, 30 mil shaft. No way. Um, so that's the TGMV that I use for the gates and stuff. You have a limiter and a cutter. Um, and then the block itself, you can remove the limiter and the cutter, just put the spacer back in. So this block is kind of very multifunctional um, with no extra cutter bits in. If I do this up, I'll show you. So these are, these are like, These are the blanking plates. And if you look closely here, it's got a cutter here on the top, just to give you a nice clean cut. And then there's a blade here, which also can be replaced if it goes blunt. And that's what I use. And then it also comes with a flush fitting sort of top bolt so that you can do your tenoning right over the top of it. And that's how I do the tenons. It's almost like a single tenoner. If you had a real tenoner, you'd have one of these on top and one of these on the bottom and it would do it in one hit. Um, it's quite slow doing it this way, but I don't have room for a tenoner. I don't have a tenoner, so it's still good. See that it's completely flush on the top. Brilliant for tenon in or anything where the wood is going to go over the whole or part of the cutter. You get a special tool here so you can do it up. It's now flush mounted and we can set up for our tenon in. is the multi-purpose block. It's 125 by 175 uh, by 55 with a 30 mil uh, hub or spindle uh, on the molder. And what you can do with this one, it has built-in cutters. So when you buy it, um, it just has a spacer in here. You have a set of cutters and the top cutter there to give you a nice clean cut. And I make my tenons on that by just going across it. Comes with a very low profile um, nut compared to the original one which is on the felder. And that gives you completely flat clearance so that you can go over the top of your tenon, literally as big as you like, really. Um, that last tenon I did was 110. Um, and then when you want to use it for something else, I mean, it's a little bit slow. The blocks are quite expensive when you first buy it, a couple of hundred quid, I think. But <clears throat> what's great about it is the cutters, which are amazing, are only about 50 quid a pair. You get a limiter and a cutter. So you remove this spacer. Get a little clean out. And then you've got your cutter. And your limiter. Limiter is just a safety part, so the cutter is going to be spinning this way, and the limiter is going to help um, stop anything big dropping in and tearing you into it or whatever like that. So you always buy them in a pair, and then you just literally put the block back together. It's all self-centering and everything, so there's no calibration to do. You just put it all together, 
And this set here I'm using is the five mil uh, here, five mil uh, tongue and groove with the TGV. So um, you get the tongue, groove and the V all in one pass, really easy, much quicker than a router, removes masses of material really quickly uh, with the power feed. So very, quite a safe thing with the power feed. You don't come too close to it really. So that's basically how that works, if you were wondering. So the block's spinning this way. So cutter goes on that side. Limiter, which is just slightly smaller than the cutter, goes behind it. And then you just drop your, just like a clamp in there. It's very, very sharp. You just touch, touch your hand on these. It's like a little paper cut. If you've seen me with little, with a plaster on like this cut here, that's not me cutting myself while I'm working. It's just me banging the back of my hand on it while I'm trying to do it up or move it or something. Absolutely deadly sharp. So that can go back on there. And stay with the low profile top nut for now. Little, get this little spanner with it as well, just to wrench thing. It's got a secret, oh, not secret, uh, level off nut. That's it. Really. These are the spaces that it come with. Just put those in the box, and that's it. You're done. Ready to shape up all your wood.